G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days where I'm back to try something that I've had in mind for a little while. The humble bicycle here is one of the most important parts of 7 Days. You get it as a reward for completing the first tier of quests and generally opens up the entire world. But... There's a couple of interesting things about it that I want to see if we can use to take the humble bike and take it to a whole nother level. So one thing that I have noticed and a fair few others have noticed as well is there is something magical about the bicycle and not really in a way that you'd think so. You know, it's got wheels, it's got pedals, you can get about, it's all well and good. But more importantly, if you chuck down any sort of zombie anywhere near him, the zombies just don't like it at all. Like, at all. They're, oh, that's some impressive hopscot there, Alz. But there's something about the bike that the zombies just do not like whatsoever. So, if they're going to have trouble pathing across a bicycle, if only we knew someone who could potentially take that and turn it to our advantage. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's me. Of course we can do that. I mean, listen, I'm not saying it's a sure thing, but if you're going to give me something where something weird happens with the zombie pathfinding, I mean... I, I'm not responsible for my actions in that at that point. Like, it'd be rude not to. So that's the goal. That's the dream. Just me and, well, at the moment, one, but soon to be probably many bicycles. How could I use this to not only carry all of my burdens like it's Lydia, but also face down a zombie horde? So I reckon right off the bat, like a bull at a gate, the first thing I'm going to try, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, ooh, it's the pretty obvious option. I'm just going to try and grab about a lot just a lot of bicycles and see what we can do with them they're all nice and purpleized as well already all off to go so if i go like you and if i just grab like a bunch of bikes right if i just get a whole bunch of bicycles and just maybe even like stack them a little bit so they've got a nice little no no no, no this no other way please got a nice little ring of bicycles to keep the zombie at bay push it over that way no the other way I don't know why it being so difficult, but okay, there you go. If I just kind of daisy chain them all along like this, will that, will that keep the zombies at bay? I mean, just a nice little, like, protection circle of mechanics. I was initially trying to get these all to stack up really nicely and neatly, but I think the higgledy-piggledy mess of bicycles I'm making here might actually work out in my favor a little bit more. Grab another coupler. I mean, this is pretty expensive. Bikes aren't cheap at all. It's going to take a lot of resources to make something like this, but I just want to see what's going to happen. If I have all this going on... All right, never mind. <clears throat> if I have all this going on... Hey, that's good enough. We'll go one more anyway. Like, what is, what's this zombie going to do about this? What could they possibly do that's going to cause me to come a cropper? Back another one in there. Another one in there. Just bikes are plenty. Jeez, if I was a fish right now, I'd have everything I needed. I think I've done a pretty good job of getting a nice little circle. It's like I've gone to like a haunted house and sprinkled salt in a ring around the room, but I've done it with bicycles instead. It's done a pretty good job of filling up any sort of weak spot or anywhere where I don't think it's got good protection all around the joint. There's one there. Got one more bike to go. They're all kind of getting their spaghetti straps all over the shop. It will go one more right there. Sure. Just in the, in the convoluted pile of bikes. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, it is a horde night tonight, but I kind of want to see while it's still daytime and stuff, just how things react to this. There's a couple of Arlene's. They can eventually jump over one. <laughs> Great, great. Thank you for that. I love that for me. Half a second. You handled a sea of bikes better than you handled one bike a second ago. I mean, maybe it's just because it's Arlene. She has experience being the town bike, so bicycles don't phase her. It's literally taking me longer to pick up all of these bicycles again to try a different idea than it took for Arlene to rinse my idea. That was more rinse than salad in a colander. That was, that was awful. That was bleeding terrible. I can't believe how quickly that just went to nothing. Maybe it's something to do with the bikes not being ridden. They were just kind of like placed down like that. I'll put a little, just a little like conga line of bikes through them. We'll put an Arlene on the other side, see how she handles this one. Exceptionally well again. Good job, Arlene. So, oh, oh, your boyfriend's getting a little bit shoppy. I blew your mind and old mate's a little bit upset about it. Oh, yours doesn't care. Horse doesn't care. 
Right, so maybe just actually riding the bike and placing him down somewhere. Maybe that changes the way the game considers the bikes. Because even now, like before, they were kind of clipping through each other, doing all sorts of stuff. But if I ride them in a position and then leave them in a place... Will that go a little bit better? I don't want a massive circle, just a reasonable circle. We'll only go one deep for now and just see if that works a little bit better. I've definitely got this bike stacking down to a fine art. Like if that's not going to keep the zombies at bay, I don't know what will. I mean, potentially some actual building materials, but bah, that's way too mainstream, way too normal and bloody boring. You just got to really like get your last little def tap to the left right at the end and let it roll into place. Now that I was saying it out loud, it didn't bloody work for me. Let's try that again. Just like that. Bonk. Straight over onto the other bikes. Perfect. Almost finished up the circle. Yeah, this looks better. I, I have no reason for thinking so, but this feels like it should work better than before. I think I want just one more to cover this gap right about there. Get you flopped on over. Oh, one more. One more then. All right, then. Why not? Who am I to say not or one more round? Swing you over. That's a terrible line, actually. If it's cover up the last little gap with the bike that's fallen over, that I feel like will... Oh, gone the wrong way. That I feel like will really just kind of cement the entire ring for how I want it to be. If I could actually get the bike down, it'd be lovely. There you go. Perfect. I think the key... I've... <laughs> I think the key, what I'm going for here is having all of the actual wheels overlapping. Not just kind of like there's some sort of piece of bike in each part of the circle, but the wheels at least are overlapped. That's kind of what I was going for, and I think I've got it most of the way around the circle. Nice. Okay. Well, Arlene, if you wouldn't mind, give us a cheeky little squeeze at how you're going to think about this one. Interesting. So... Why did, I mean, it happened four seconds ago. Why did you guys have so much issues with one solitary bike before, but now there's several of them, and you're like, nah, nah, that's so much easier. Let's have a look at this then. Arlene, come here. What's going on? I don't, un I don't understand, Arlene. Why is this so difficult, but you start stacking them up like firewood, and suddenly you're all about it? I really wonder if there's a simpler way to do this because the single bike seems to work out really well. But the thing that I really want to try and use about this is because Arlene's running into the bike, the zombies just running into it, they're not thinking in their head that they're blocked or that anything's going wrong. So I haven't seen any of them yet try and take a swing to break anything, which means that they could just stand there running forever. They do eventually jump, but I might be able to deal with that if I go like this and I get myself a ramp block. Get myself there, yeah, go actually get the ramp block this time. And if I just whack along some sort of overhang like that, then potentially I might be able to make it so that Arlene never takes a swing. She just stays on the other side, and everyone can stay happy, and I can stay over this side and not have to deal with her. What about this thing? Arlene, come over here. You're stuck. You're having issues. Oh, you did eventually make it through, but that was much, much better than it was a second ago potential there's something there's something here there's potential here i just got to try and string it out and find out what the thing actually is so i can rebuild it but better things are getting a little wild in the woodle house because i am just kind of there you go chucking blocks all over the shop and seeing what's going to happen because i want to see so now i've got the bikes down on the actual zombie level i'm just using like a couple of concrete poles around here just to keep them in place and not let me get over the top of the bikes where i don't want them to be Fall over that way, please. Perfect. Right, so... <laughs> now I can't even get over the top of it. There we go. So if I stand in the middle of this, it's all very close quarters, but we'll see how we go. You, Arlene, come over here, please, and just see how you're going to go with it. Straight through the sides. All right, maybe if I double up the bikes then, I'm real getting real sick of you just completely ignoring the bikes when for some reason when there's a singular one you get all gooey about it i'm really just trying all sorts of different things get a couple of lanes in build a wall chuck some bikes in and it really is it really is as soon as there's a second bike they just don't don't care about it at all if i take you away and just leave you as a solitary bicycle just like you i reckon given what i've seen so far that's gonna be more successful than the other ones were come on then come over here Maybe, oh, it's facing the wrong way. Hold on a second. Go like, nope, hang on a second. Go like you, get your flopping over. There you go, the correct way. The best way to flop you've ever bloody seen. Try that again. So like, if she runs into the seat and handlebars. She got nothing. You got nothing. What you gonna do, Arlene? 
Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, got to be facing the right way and not have too many bikes. What if I put down, like, an extra one? Although, that might flop down the wrong way and give her a ramp. Ah! No, Arlene. Bad. Okay, but potential. Lots of potential there. Nice. I'm going to stop myself before I build myself the entire surrounding of the bikes. Because before I had this the other way, I was standing... <gasps> I hate me. I hate me so much. My fat freaking fingers. I need Homer's dialing wand or something to stop myself doing dumb shit like that. Can you go the correct way, please? Before, I was on the handle side. They were running over the wheels. And now, if I can never get it back to how it was before, they can be on the um, the other side to what I was before. There we go. I had it perfect. I had it perfect and I ruined it. All right, there we go. This time I won't press E. Yeah, last time I was on uh, the handles and seat side, so they ran over the wheels and got to me. But this time, they should have a bit more trouble. And I have been noticing they're running through the tires. Like, Arlene will go a bit left and run through the wheel instead of through the handlebars. So I've tried to interlace it so there's no gaps where the wheels are going to be. Arlene. Don't know why you two are so close. Another Arlene just flipped over the bike. Oh, all right. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but all right, we've got a uh, we've got an inadvertent casualty noted. All right, I think I think the idea of the wall of bicycles is kaput, but I reckon there's still something to be used here. Just using that instead of like barbed wire. If I could use a bike instead of barbed wire or spikes, that might still have a good bit of value. I've just built myself a bit of a platform just to get the zombies coming from the solitary direction every time. I'm gonna put down. Let's go wild. Let's go really wild. Let's go down a couple of bikes. Get a whole like kind of bike shake going on to have a punch runs at lunchtime behind. All the way along like you. And we know that eventually like Arlene will push through. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did mean to do that. Though. Let's pretend that was all deliberate. No, eventually Arlene will push through the bikes like I just did then. But if you're there like that, that should give me more than enough room around the outside of you. Because for some reason like... You don't actually exist as a block. Except for right there when I actually want to build with you. All right, then. Never mind then. I'll take it back and just wedge you in after the fact. But if I build like a little casing for it, I mean, where are the zombies going to go? They've got nowhere to go. We'll be fine. What do you reckon? I reckon that's going to work. They're all facing the right way. There's a bit of concrete over there. Just keep them at bay if they do try to jump it. But I reckon that's got the best shot of... Oh, for goodness sake, the best shot of any of that to actually make it all through. Don't know why you spawned on me knocking. Can you spawn over there, please? There you go. Walk over this way, please, Ali. Let's see what you got. I just want to see what happens when I get to the first bike and how they react to it. Just straight through. Just straight through. Right. Okay. Who would have thought that potentially a bicycle was not a good horde base protection? Because I thought I had something there, but it's roughly look like that... For one zombie, it's okay, but when there's a couple, it's all over. I really want to know why, in that first instance, when I first put Arlene to task with, like, a little shell around the outside of the bike, she had so much trouble with it, I thought that was where the best route was going to be. But I want to know why that happened, and can it be that potentially it was, like, the bike sliding out of the way that led her through? So maybe if I go and I grab myself some more blocks like that and kind of sink you a little bit further down into the ground. But, like, at this point, at this point, you just build yourself a horde base, wouldn't you? I mean, for goodness sake, you're putting more concrete into this just to get the bike to work. You could probably get a better result just building anything else, really, like that over there, but that's okay. I'm here to get a bicycle to work for me and <laughs> leave all logic behind. Just gonna wedge myself in this little like owl cover built for myself. The bike's a little bit out of going, but that should be perfect. It fell the right way as well. Alright, I wanna make sure that the zombies don't go around the outside, like the trailer park girls that they are. Just build a little wall like that. A nice little almost like a little like I don't know what we would call this. Just like a little alleyway, a little narrow spot to draw them all into. All the way along like you, you, you. Just to make sure she actually tries to go through this uh, up the gutsy rather than around the outside. You. Arlene's. Got a whole bunch of you. Come over this way, please. Stuck on the bike. Oh, then she gave up and recalculated around the outside again. Interesting. Okay, so she had to recalculate... If that means that I make this the only viable option, which is kind of what I was trying to do over there, but if I make this the only viable option, they can't go around the outside. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, you've got my attention now. What can we do with this? 
This is getting more and more elaborate, but it does work out to be like a really good, basically AFK base. If the zombies aren't going to break anything, you could use bikes to protect the pot. <gasps> That's a good idea. You could use bikes to protect the pylons at the bottom of your bases or whatever if they can't manage to get through it. Nice, cheap, easy zombie proof defenses. Tell me that doesn't sound like a great idea to you. If I go like this, get a couple of leans, get their attention. They're now completely ignoring it. You can't get around that, Layla. You can't park here because you can't get to the ladder that's only accessible through them. Oh, wait. It's because that is the same HP as the blocks on the outside. Right, hang on. Hang on. I need to make some adjustments. Hang on two seconds. Got to make sure that this is completely unappetizing uh, to you. All right. Thicker walls, bicycle in the front. Only way up is the ladder at the back over here. Surely. Surely that's going to go the right way for me. Get all your attention, please. Come over here. Oh, oh, she wants to go in there. These guys are having absolutely none of it. So you would rather beat your way through two full blocks of concrete than try and take on a bicycle. It just... Oh, get I love. Just like completely ruins their entire idea of how to get to me. That's very peculiar. All right, so new plan. I've built myself just a really tall zombie dropper. We know now that if zombies fall more than 11 blocks away from you, uh, they won't go in to destroy everything, but which is really bloody handy to have. But what if you can't incorporate that into your base design? Well, I want to see if dropping them down right next to a rather precariously balanced pillar over here, if I drop them down next to that but put a surround this with bikes, if they will still try and attack it, or if because, as you saw over them, their pathfinder kind of goes, there's a bike here, I can't get past it, I'll find a different way, if that will apply to destroy everything as well, and they'll just go back to running up the stairs or whatever without doing too much damage. So you, can I get you to please fall the correct way for me, so to get you right up against the wall and then flick you over to the right like that. That'll just about do. I'll put one on every bloody corner. Get you nice and protected. All right, I've got my bikes down there all facing out, which is nice. I'll leave my body up here and just see what we can do with a couple of Arlene's. You, get like five of you, get your attention. Pretty straight. Ooh. Ooh, where are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? Hang on. What have I done with you? I turned off your AI. I didn't really mean to do that. Turn it back on again. Are you... You're absolutely pickled. I got your licorice. You're in all sorts. What are you... What are you thinking at the moment? Also, by the way, they all fell and I was too busy getting distracted by a freaking jump slot over here with the sweet pose that none of them seem to have gone to attack the pillar at all. Let's, uh, let's keep you going and see what is happening here. I've, I've broken their life. I've, they're also still, they're not going into the strong everything mode. <laughs> I've complete, I have completely broken the zombie AI more than I really ever had before. This is new. Whatever you were doing has captivated because it's completely bonkers. None of them are going into the strong everything mode either. Your legs are broken. I, I'm... Flabbergasted. This is working better than it ever really should have. Okay, let's get a whole bunch more then to see what happens. When more showed up, she got snapped out of her... Oh, no, you're... <laughs> now there's two of them. <laughs> Lovely synchronized jump in there, girls. Love your work, but... They're all getting the absolute shit kicked out of their patellas. One of them is back across me. I'm not going to test right now. You please go away. But... None of them are destroying any pillars. She's trying, she's moonwalking, she's moved the bike out of the way, but a bunch of them, are you all the ones that are having some issues then? You're all in, uh, in approach spots. Approach spot, approach spot, approach spot. Approach and attack target. No one, no one at all is going into the strike everything. That, that's crazy. What have I done to you, Arlene? I, I, I'm not actually sure. You're flipping bikes and shit, but... That's very peculiar. There is something just absolutely ridiculous about what the bikes do to the zombies AI. It completely bricks it. Bricks it like a jailbroken iPhone. At least that's what they tell me. It never actually happened to me, but I digress. All right, you know what? I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Enough that I'm going to say, yeah, nah, cheers for your hard work there, love. But I'm going to run a horde through this. I'll quickly go and I'll reset all my bikes down here because something magical is afoot over here, like the magic faraway train. You go there. 
No, don't lead it against the wall. I need you to flop on over. I need you to have it so the bike and handlebars are facing out. That is the critical component, I think. The Blood Moon is rising all the way over there. So it is a Horde Knight. Oh, I, have, I haven't actually tested with dogs, actually. So luckily, uh, luckily, even a couple of dogs are showing up. Here comes the rest of them. Dogs going to go straight on down. No, destroy everything. Didn't even stop and turn or take a look around. All right. Well, so far, so good. Relatively promising. I just want to see if any of them do go into destroy everything mode or if because the bikes are there, they just completely ignore it. Oh, one of them looks like he's kind of upset his spaghetti. A couple of them do. Right. So why is that different now? It was so good before, but that definitely didn't work as clean as it did with all the Arlenes a second ago. Maybe it's just because they were getting stuck on it. What are you what are you thinking there, Superstar? What are you what is going through your little noggin? Destroy area. Oh uh, no. Alright, the The theory has been busted immediately. So why was Arlene just having none of it? That's I mean, some of them are still ignoring it completely, but sometimes they're like, nah, take all the concrete instead. Or is it just because you're getting stuck behind the pylon? It might be the pylon. Okay, I might need to fix that. I've reverted it back to how it was and well, just run some Arlene's through it. But other than adding a little bit of concrete up the top to stop them climbing over the tippy top of it and some light sources, everything's still working as it was. So is there something particular about Horde Knight that they decide they want to start going into Strike Over the Mode? Because that isn't how it used to be. If that's a new addition, then that's brand new. But for like a regular Wandering Horde or whatever, just regular zombies, this is fine. I mean, they're all annoyed, they're all angry at me, they're all hopping with rage all over the place like a pissed off frog. And none of them have gone over to that pillar at all yet. I, I, I want to know what's going on here. I really want to figure this out. They're not in Destroy Area, they're just... They're just upsetting spaghetti. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but the rest of this is working fine. I just want to see, as a control, I just want to see if it, all the same zombies, all the same setup, all the same everything, if I remove the bicycles, if that is the block of the thing that's making the zombies go absolutely bananas, like they're singing a Gwen Stefani song. Everything's the same. The bikes are gone. AI off. Get all your attention, please. A couple have already fallen. Now, if any of you start going to destroy everything mode, then we've got some pretty serious issues. Those guys are still hopping away, so... Not even really under me either. I'm really sure what's going on over there, but... Not really. Everything looks pretty much the same. Oh, destroy area. She was in destroy area right there. Destroy area. So I removed the blocks, and now we're getting a couple of aliens going into destroy area mode. That wasn't happening a second ago. I mean, they're still not having a great time about it, but even so, hmm, there's, there's a lot of question marks about this. Oh no, look at this though. Look at this though. I was like, they're not falling down anymore. Where's everybody gone? They're up here breaking all of this to shreds. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold your horse and repair this because it's it actually did a fair amount of damage to put the bikes back. Now I know I need to check up in the top, but I re I'm still pretty confident. I reckon that the bikes are what's actually throwing off the zombies and instead of destroying the pillar down below, they destroyed to destroy up the, the side of it, even to destroy up the top. So put you back, put you back all where you were a second ago and run it again. So they're really moving through there much happier. They're getting compressed a bit. They're going into a little bit of like, a little bit of tippy tappers in the wall, but nowhere near what they were a second ago. You're just having a bit of a time up here. You're blocking everyone else. But when they're like, they're moving freely through, no one's getting stuck. Before, it was a whole traffic jam. It was a clusterfuck of our lanes up here, having a real bloody bad time. Look at that, look at that. Not even, a, not even a slow step, not even a blink or a wink or any sort of weird little eye movement. No one's gonna get upset down here either. They're all going around the bikes. That's uh, that's that's very peculiar. How you doing? You're riding Arlene. Wouldn't be the first, but no, you're all fine. You're all good. It's just that occasional one. Occasional one decides to turn around and start swinging to block the rest of them up, but nowhere near to the gravity it was before. I reckon it's the bikes. I'm going to give it one last go. I'm going to set the time to after 10 p.m. So it will be a horde night. A couple of them just timed out, but that's okay. I want to see, like those Arlenes are still running it, but I want to see if the horde night zombies treat it any differently. If there's something different in the AI for Horde Knights specifically. They're all coming up. They're all going down. No one's beating on the pillars just yet. 
Oh, you are. You are, but you're only the one. That's still not a great result, but not as bad as it could be. Mo wants nothing to do with it. All of you guys are fine. Am I going to destroy everything mode? Not like I can read the just wall of text in front of me. That's all good. There's something weird happening. I do like that occasionally when one does go, yeah, like that. Thank you for uh, thank you for showing guys that immediately right where I wanted you to then, Steve. But I like that they still get trapped on the bike a little bit and it takes away some of the destroy everything time. But it's definitely not as foolproof as it was during the day. I can't really explain it. I admit I probably wouldn't go and make myself a horde base with just the bikes defending the uh, the pillars. That would be a pretty bad idea. But for daytime bases, if I go back to the daytime, one, ten, like you, and then get rid of all of you and just get my Arlene's running it all again, they didn't even blink. They didn't even care at all. Look at them. Right on through, up the stairs, down the stairs, and back to the stairs again. It's a real good time. I would... If I had to have a couple of bicycles, you know, once you move on a motorcycle and stuff like that, you want something to do with it rather than just selling it or leaving it in a shed or whatever, um, why not? Why not whack around some integral pillars and make them basically bulletproof to any sort of falling zombies? That's actually... That has worked. I mean, I wanted this to work. I wanted the circle of bikes to work. It didn't, but this is still a pretty... <gasps> what are you doing? Doing nothing? Just hopping about. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. You're all good. This actually has worked out pretty well for what I initially thought was going to be a busted idea. But I have to leave this mildly busted idea. It didn't work out how I wanted it to, but that's okay. Not every idea can be a winner. But now we know there is a magical block, the magical item that completely breaks the daytime zombies. Completely done, completely gonzo. But I have to come back and try and continue to find ways to exploit this game in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you yeah, like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.